The feature of 360 video is ultimately going to lead into volumetric capture as well as post-production. Everyone that comes from a traditional 2D media think about things in a very framed and kind of linear fashion. They don't really think of the implications of certain things that normally aren't a big deal in a regular production, but once you flip it over into 360 and VR, cause tons of hassle and heartache on the back end. Uh, a lot of those things would be lighting, camera equipment, where you're blocking your action in scenes, because unfortunately, stitching isn't the most glorious thing in 360, but it's currently the most expensive and most time consuming. So when everyone takes their time and properly blocks out out actions when they're on set it really helps in the back end a lot more when you're on the frame and you're sitting on a couch or theater seat the distance between you and the individual for a wide medium or close-up is completely different in 360 also from the stitching post-production VFX standpoint when you're on set blocking trying to properly block out how people are gonna move in and around the camera and the seams is ultimately important to help you put time and money on the screen not necessarily in post when we're choosing different camera rigs to take on set for the physical production we always go over to Radiant. Once we start talking about different selections, some of our favorites that we tend to use is the Jaunt One, the Nokia Ozo, or if we get in certain scenarios where we need something custom, we like to use some of Radiant's custom rigs, whether it be the Dark Corner Sony A7S or their new Axis system. Multiple camera options from the Red, the Alexas, the Black Magics, all the way down to the Codex action cams. The choice of the 360 camera is extremely important nowadays from monoscopic, stereoscopic, stitching, live streaming. Anytime we have a pre-production meeting with our clients, we always go through the list of most important aspects to them. Is it image fidelity, color range? Is it when they want mono or stereo? Do they want to live stream an event? Based on the qualifications of the cameras that they're looking for, then we'll call up our partners over at Radiant Images and go through what's going to be the best solution that they need, whether it be the same camera for the entire shoot or even multiple cameras depending on the different settings, whether we're indoor, outdoor, low light, or live event situations. With each challenge we face in post-production, every solution that we find inherently contains another challenge. As of now, it's stitching, all the seams, blending them together, recreating people and objects. As soon as that gets covered, then we move into volumetrics, where it's an entirely different realm of assembling your images from light field technology or camera arrays captured by ADI or Incorporal, or we move into the light fields with Lytro. Either way, as stitching falls away and starts to move into more in-camera solutions and we venture off into the volumetric post-production realm, it's going to be a fun and enjoyable ride and Legend will be right there with Radiant Images.